The year was 1980, a year the world was anxiously watching the Olympics, cheering on its chosen champions representing their country, in high hopes that that would be the year that they would return home with the gold. So Jawbreaker, where does the fur girl come in? I'm getting to her! Hold your horses! No pun intended. In the same year of 1980, the world was getting ready to witness another type of Olympics. From the heights of Mount Olympus, a torch was lit, traveling from the North Pole to the desert, eventually making its way across sea, where it was soon hoped to be at its final destination, the location of the Summer Olympic Games, Animal Olympic Island. And the name of this movie? Animal Olympics. A movie that took its own unique furry spin on the Olympics. As the flame went up, so did the competition. Animal Olympics focused on a wide range of sports, such as ice skating, gymnastics, including my favorite character on the track and field, Bolt Jenkins. I like, you know, I'm Bo Jenkins, and I like a lot of miles and down a lot of toast of gecko flakes on my way to a gold medal. You wanna know just how epic Bolt Jenkins really is? Bolt Jenkins is so epic, he can knock the fuck out of his own shadow. And of course, let's not forget the racing marathon. One of the most popular racers in the marathon believed to win was a lioness from Africa named Kit Mumbo. As a competitor, Mumbo was hoping to set a trend and be the first ever female to win the marathon. The way to beat Rene is to take a quick lead and break his concentration. Booty. 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 This store sells booty. Cheeks. Booty. 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 This store sells Make booty. That ass clap. The only thing that was standing in Kip Mambo's way of the go, Rene Fromage. In my life, I have no time for women. It is all one, one, one. Because of this, I am chest. Rene was the only other most popular character besides Mumbo to win the marathon. And at the start of the movie, he was determined to not let her jungle booty stop him from victory. And there's the stop! Still very early in the film, by the 100 meter mark, it's Kip Mumbo and Rene Fromage, who completely bulldozed through the other competitors, only to find themselves running beside each other evenly matched. By their fourth night racing, all the other competitors had completely given up of ever beating Renee and Kit, while trying to outrace each other just didn't seem to be happening. But as they did so, their competitiveness slowly turned into admiration. Viva la victory! Viva la victory! He's great, but I know I can beat him. But for those of us who actually knew better, it sounded more like... I sure wouldn't mind bending her over and showing her just how wild the Animal Kingdom gets. I like to take his clothes off and have a marathon with him right here on this floor. And as dirty as that might have sounded, it really wasn't that far off. Me and the cross, there is nothing else but keep Mumbo. I have to beat Rene, even though he is a dreamboat. By the 100 kilometer mark, Rene and Mumbo's focus began turning more away from the race and turned more on each other. Even Rene with his one track goal found himself fighting temptation around Mumbo. In the midst of the race against her, he finds himself flashing back to all the things he gave up in the pursuit of victory, especially things such as love, and it was starting to make him question if what he worked for was worth being alone. But even with Kit and Rene getting along, we couldn't say the same about their managers. Rene's pace? This is Kit Mumbo's race. She is setting the pace. I have heard rumors of Kitnip. Ah! Drugs! Automatic disqualification! By this point, Kit and Renee were getting ready to do something never before seen in Animal Olympics. I'll run forever if we can run together! I can never run again without you. They at last had finally shut their thoughts off and began bracing their true feelings by holding each other's hands. By doing so, they not only turned Paw Pritt Stadium upside down, but the entire Animal Olympics. Is this international sabotage? Or is it just pulling around? Oh, don't get it wrong. Judging by the look in their eyes, when this race is over, there is definitely going to be some fooling around. Towards the end of the film, they were holding hands together, skipping together. They even along the way got tipsy together. And when they arrived at Paul Prince Stadium, they were even crossed the finish line together, and since neither one cared about the gold medal anymore, they just kept on going. I had it all planned. Kit Mumbo track shoes, Kit Mumbo dolls, Kit Mumbo vitamins, a lifetime of training, and cheap- I wonder if those were Kit Mumbo pills he's ODing on. Anyway, this has been Fur Girl Profiles Kit Mumbo. Good luck out there, Renee and Kit. I can only imagine who's gonna be competing to be on top.